15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! All right, man, 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> Coffee Brown. Yes, yeah, this is the talk of the town. Coffee Brown, first lady of the Dino, first lady of the Mafia, first lady of the Riot. You already know we in here. What's up? Shoot, you tell you me, do? huh? You tell huh? me. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's day two, you know. Royalty over. Stress is over. It's done. Shout out to you. Thank you so shout much. Shout out to Geechee. Shout out to Misfit. Shout out to Cortez. Um, great fucking night for y'all. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna say a big night for you, um, because you got to like Gichi told me that you know he wanted to let you shine a little bit too. You know what I mean? And he gave you that, and you took advantage of that too. I had to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had to, because he gave me so much. You know mm. what I'm saying? So it was like, all right, let's get these rounds. Let's do this. You are gonna have your partner third, and I'm gonna take over the rest. So getting those together and like just trying to make it work. And you know I'm new, so it's like I'm still learning how to battle by myself, let alone with somebody else. So. I'm just happy it was my brother out of anybody because that was a, like a lot easier to do than like with just somebody random, you know. So. Right, right. Now, I told him um, I'm a two-on-two -two fan. Okay. I like the back and forth, back and forth. I don't like the four bar, eight bar, ten bar, then you go. Okay. Type shit. You like you the know? DNA K shot. Period. Mm -hmm. Like you, for me. If you're gonna do a two on two, then I need to see that that Back chemistry, and, and I need to see that flipping the ball. I don't together, like that. So. That's not my style of two on two. I like the two on two, like uh, you know, like. I mean, you're gonna do the back and forth period throughout the round. It's just gonna happen naturally because two people, so you're gonna end up standing on it. You know what I mean? But to do that the whole round, all three rounds, that's crazy. It, it becomes repetitive. We saw that in NWS versus ES. EFB, mm -hmm. they had NWS had the back to back. That's what they do that, you know. EFB had back to back bars. He do his thing. He the do mix his up. thing. Okay. Yeah, you, you show your style. Let me show my style. Now we show our style. Then you know what I mean. Like it's just really showing versatility. Whereas one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, big cat, patty whack, give a dog a bump. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's you know. So I just like that because it actually lets me show myself. Lets him show himself. Because some of my fans are there for just me. Some of his fans are there for just him. True. Some fans are there for both of us. So I feel like we were able to give them. A little bit of all of that. Who, who won and why? Um, I feel like it's two one either way. I do feel like it's a preference battle. Um, I feel like it's a preference battle because our styles are so different. Um, the way that they rapped was so different from the way that we rapped. What their mission when they came as a two on two. It's a whole lot of fucking motorcycles around here. It's a busy place we in here. But basically, I feel like. Their style and what they came to accomplish as a two-on-two -two was totally 360 of what our style was and what we came to accomplish as a two-on-two. -two. So I just think it was a huge style clash. So mm -hmm. I couldn't really be mad, you know, either way. <laughs> and, and fun? Did you have fun? I had so much fun. That was the hardest thing I ever did. I'm always having fun when I'm challenging myself. So that was like probably one of the more challenging things because mm -hmm. I'm relying on somebody else. Like, you know what I mean? So. Um, it was definitely a lot of fun, a huge learning experience. It's always love in Richmond. I'm always thankful to be on URL. I'm always thankful to be a part of Queen of the Ring. You know, with our newfound relationship, so much respect between the both of us, you know, so. First time on Queen of the Ring. First time, yeah. yeah. And it, it was good business. Shout out Debo, shout out Bab, shout out Vague. Like, I have no complaints. I don't know what these girls talking about. My business was taken care of. It was professional. We got the content out, and I'm still having fun day after. Now, now one thing I do, um, like, there's a lot of black clouds over you. Like, people like you, people don't like you. Blah, blah, blah. I've always liked you, and the one thing I've always liked about you is that you just do what the fuck you're going to do. You know, and there's no disrespect to Queen of the Ring, but you actually been out here doing what you doing, you've been doing and actually hasn't, haven't been on the Queen of the Ring. Yeah. And that's not easy for a lot of girls in battle rap. Why is not easy? It's, well, we just haven't really seen it. Most most females, for them to actually get the, the momentum that you have, they, they usually have to be on the Queen of the Ring, at least start over there at some point, or be over there, and, you know. So, shout out to you for that. Like, Thank you. You, you, you got a big buzz. A lot of people always talk about Thank you. Whether you it's negative or positive, they talk about All it. All marketing is marketing. I That's couldn't have the following, the fans, or the love that I have without the negative. It's like, so lit on this What the fuck is wrong with this block that everybody wants you to know I'm coming? They done drove up and down the street like five times. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much. You know what I mean? When I came, 
I had a mission. I wanted to just work. I wanted to compete. I wanted to go all over, and I and I did that, and I'm still doing that, you know. So I just I'm just thankful for people like you that have been rocking with me since day one, telling me when I'm wrong, telling me where I'm right, and we just been rocking, and we gonna keep growing and getting better, you know, for sure. Well, you ain't wrong for that goddamn outfit, Bobby <laughs> Brown. Outfit is fire. Uh, outfit is go. fire. Um, and and then now it, moving on in the future. I mean, again, you've been on the URL. This is. Two, three? Third. Third. Fourth. Great, crazy battle. Fourth. Uh, like I told you, I think I told you the other day, crazy battle versus Lady Flames. Thank you. Crazy battle versus Blue Easy. Thank you. Like, that's when it, it started kicking, like, <laughs> Kofi Brown is fucking fire. I'm trying. Thank you so yeah. much. I am definitely trying. Like I said, big ups to everybody that support me. Um, big ups to everybody that been down since day one. Big ups to everybody that watched my battles. That's, you know, tapping in with me. You know I respond. You know, I, re I reply to everybody. You know what I mean? Even the negative people. That's where that black cloud come from. Any kind of energy you want to bring, I'm going to return it tenfold. You know what I mean? So. Now, now Misfit said you only got to be on stage with her because of Geechee, because of the two-on-two. -two. Do you think ever, or does it matter to you if you ever battle somebody like Misfit? It doesn't matter. That's not, she's she's never been in my top five um, coming in and still okay. isn't. So it's just like, that's why it was easy to take her on my road to the top. She was never at the top for me. So it's easier to take those kind of matches on the way up as I'm learning because they don't mean that much to me. Right. You know? If, if somebody was to come with you to offer you to battle her, would it would you take the battle? Does I will take any practice. Practice makes perfect. Misfit would be practice. Anybody before my top five would be practice. Hmm. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go. Let's go.